everybody on the internet uh what's going on what's going on today we're gonna be playing a deck from super fritz Thank this you. was a commission deck Tippet, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Oh, Third Tail with the gifted sub. Third Tail with five gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, cases in the chat and got a gifted sub. And if you guys have gifted subs, definitely consider uh, continuing those subs. It's only 250 in the month of September. So uh, it's a great way to support the channel you're watching and uh, to get a great rate on a, on a subscription. But anyway, we're playing this deck. This is a commission deck from uh, Super Fritz. He wanted me to play it, and I was like, are you sure you don't want to wait till the throne? And he was like, no, Thank I think you. it's going to make my opponents miserable enough playing it now. And I was like, oh, okay, that sounds good. Now he didn't really say that, but looking at it now, we have 4 Essence Scatter, 4 Negate, 4 Sinister Te sinister Sabotage, so 12 counters. Uh, we have 4 Thought Erasure, one of the most popular cards in Standard, for sure. Uh, 2 Entrancing Melodies, and 2 Mass Manipulation, so st Mr. Steal Your Guys. Uh, two Eldest Reborn, <clears throat> which is great to deal with uh, things. Two Eter Enter the God Eternals, one of my favorite cards in War of the Spark. Two Lilianas. One Obnixilus' Cruelty. A bunch of lands, your standard land suite. <clears throat> and uh, three Narset, two Jace. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the, the gist of it there. Sideboard, we have two Spell Pierce, two Duress, two Aether Gust. <clears throat> two, three Moment of Craving, two Elder Spell, one Cry of the Carnarium. A little poof back there. Uh, two Unward Ego, which I love, and one more Ritual of Soot to go with this Ritual of Soot. I... Um, Super Fritz, did you say you were playing this in best of one? <clears throat> or am I mistaken? Oh my god. Hold on, my phone's exploding. <clears throat> okay. I know the one of cruelty seems weird. No, I don't think I don't think it's weird. I think it's great. It deals with like some of the gods. It deals with lots of things. It's just it just it just kills anything for three mana basically. It's kind of like murder, but it kills some things that uh, that might otherwise not die. I just want to know if I should play this in best of one or best of three. So calm with an all exploding electrical device in his vicinity. Yeah, I know. I I uh. I try to I try to keep it chill. <clears throat> I've done a few best of three. All right, let's try best of one and see if we can just bot match. Um, so it's just ranked, right? Ranked, constructed, uh, ranked. No, okay. So wait, hold on. I don't know what's going on. It's just ranked. Is that it? It's just ranked. Okay, it just says ranked. Traditional ranked would be best of three. Let's do it. I'm in. Um, I'll keep this hand. We don't have any of the 12 initial counter spells, but we do have things to do and lands. And all of this is just what I wanted. I'm so, like, I, I my hand instinctually hovers over the, um, the six key. I feel like this is probably going to be one of the worst matchups for us. Because this match just really capitalizes on the best of one, uh... Um, I could Narset, but Narset dies. I think we actually just want to kill this guy before he gets out of hand. I guess we can pass here. Like, it's not going to do anything, and, and Neg 5, Neg 5 is good. Um, my concern is that they play Chain Whirler. I would actually almost like to... Electrostatic Field. I might entrancing melody, melody this electrostatic field. It actually seems pretty good for us. Twenty-five birthday bucks. Third tail, is it your birthday? It's not my birthday. Third tail, thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome, man. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> Let's just entrancing melody this guy. 
Because this, like, not only does this block everything, it actually gives us a pretty decent, uh... It gives us a win condition. Third Tail, happy birthday, buddy. Can everybody in the chat give Third Tail a happy birthday? Third Tail is an awesome, uh... Supporter. <laughs> Always gifting subs left and right. Here comes Skewer the Critics on this electrostatic field. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just know. Well, that could be good in a turn. Hey, soul sister. What did you get? You got a lightning strike and a risk factor. Well, I think they're just lightning strike. Oh, they didn't. They didn't do anything. That's fascinating. Oh, I guess they could still just wait. Sagas aren't legendary. I can play a, can I play a second Eldest Reborn? I'm just gonna play Jace here. I wanna hit a land, so. We can figure a way out of this. You can't have two out? What happens to the first one? Does it just go to the graveyard? Oh, ritual of snoots? Yeah, alright. We're probably dead here. I feel like this is close, though. Um, I will... Okay, if you decline, your opponent draws three cards. Yeah, you can have three cards. That's fine. You can have two out. You can definitely... I think you can definitely have two out. Uh, yeah, I've seen people with multiple histories of Benalia. Um, so... Yeah, we're just going to get the wall back. It's unexciting, but that's okay. I almost feel like it's probably better that we uh, do that to ourselves. Hey, soul sister. Let's gain a life, I guess. I guess it's just ritual, even though I don't want to lose the wall, but I guess it's fine, right? Well, because they make you think it's a legendary card, you know what I mean? Like... Alright, we're going to four. This matchup feels terrible for us. We should probably be milling ourselves. Like, I can't imagine putting risk factors in their graveyard is, is better, but... I'm gonna be honest, I really don't think that second risk factor is gonna have, uh... I don't, I don't think that's gonna have been the... Oh, they have Wizard's Lightning right here? Okay, well... Let's mill us this time. This. Oh, we can we can get rid of it if it didn't if it wasn't a light up the stage. <clears throat> and concede. Okay. Um I don't think like, I don't think that's representative of the deck. I think that's just representative of uh, Mono Red. So, I don't feel terrible about that loss, particularly. <clears throat> Please take a few minutes to think about what you said and come back with a response. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll keep this. This seems good. Uh, let us watery grave. Uh, do we have any two drops? No. Wow, way to build your deck, Super Fritz. You clearly have no two drops in the deck. Unbelievable.
the mono two mono red decks in a row. Always a pleasure, mono red. I'm definitely not going to miss this. <coughs> okay, as long as we're hitting these lands, I don't feel terrible about things, but... Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate you. I mean, like, the only thing I really feel like we can do is kill both of these guys. Which is fine. Oh no, I'm, I haven't played Arena in, in a while, so um, my best of one rank is definitely low. I really don't want you to leave. I don't, I don't want you to keep this. This is a problem. I don't want you to keep this. How many two mana spells do we have that we can get? We have Essence Scatter, we have Negates. I think they're all reactive. I don't think there's any moment of cravings in them. There's not. I know there's not. Oh, we scared of this. They discard a card. We go to seven. Wow, we hit four, four two drops. Okay. Okay. Well, we're just gonna cast this. Uh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh God. This is three damage guaranteed. This might be three damage if we can't. Eh, yeah, we're just taking the chain whirler. Yep. Keep that on top because we can Liliana. The problem is they're gonna play fanatical firebrand, and then they're gonna end up sacrificing the two firebrands. And we're basically dead. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty rough. It's okay, we're only at five. It's okay. They go sack sack. Yeah, the problem is if we're going to be facing this. <clears throat> I don't know if this... I mean, this doesn't really matter. Like, we're, we're dead to... 30 cards in their deck, so we're actually just going to play best of three after this, because this is, um, if we're just going to be facing mono, mono, red. Yeah, that was good. All right. We had a good run. Okay, now we're just going to go to traditional ranked. Okay, let's do this instead. Guys, can someone link me to where to download the actual the, the actual Deckmaster app? I keep finding links to the extension, and I already have the extension, but I just want the, the actual app. But I can't find the link. If anybody has the link for the Deckmaster app, I'd really appreciate it. <clears throat> Unless I have it saved, which I might. I don't think so. I 
soul sister. Bismuth Salamander, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. I'm a big fan of your salamandery ways. Hodgkolashi, nope, that is the extension. That is the one I have. I'm looking for the actual downloadable app that I can use on my, the program, the executable file that I can play it on my, on my desktop, if you know what I'm saying. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep this hand. You have to go to configure the extension. You sound, you sound like a maniac right now. Okay, my extensions, it's active. No, it doesn't. No, it's already act. I don't configure. Okay, hold on. I click configure, download. Nailed it. You guys are great. Let's water a grave. All right, we did it. <clears throat> Deckmaster. Oh god, you guys are just beautiful. You guys are my children. I was supposed to be in France right now. Canceled flight. Now I'll be leaving until tomorrow. I'll miss the wedding, but that's okay because I. <laughs> Caracom, my friend Nick, uh, Goblin Nick is in is in France right now, actually. He's sending me pictures from the Louvre, and he's like, the lines for the Mona Lisa are actually insane. Vampire of the Dire Moon. All right, I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you have that. I'm gonna let you keep that. Okay, that I'm not gonna let you have. New stream. Who does? <clears throat> Tell them there's an open spot in a wedding tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> One PM. Oh, I'll be like, hey, what are you doing tomorrow, buddy? And I'll be like, you know, nothing yet. Super Fritz, how many lands do you have? I mass manipulated both of my opponents' Teferi and they spammed the nice emote at me for literally the rest of the five minute game. People play. Well, that's insane, because, like, you have two Teferis. I want the surveil. I wouldn't care about this ordinarily, but I really just want. Yes, excellent. Excellent. Alright, well now, whatever creature they play is... 25? Alright, that's good. <clears throat> I think me and Andrew are also going to record an episode of Franz later. So, if you guys are interested in that. Oh, real top three cards. Put that card in your hand, unless the opponent pays three. You're... Mm, no. You have four cards in hand, and you choose to use a card draw spell. That's interesting. Hey, soul sister. Uh, I'm just gonna end the turn. God, 25 lands and I missed fifth land drop. Unbelievable. Maybe the rest of their hand is lands. Maybe they got four lands. TPO, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. <clears throat> What's going on? Uh oh, they're timing out. Mm. 
big big plays here, big plays. Alpha Wolf, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back, welcome back. Legion Lieutenant? I'm just trying to keep the board clear, guys. Nope, we're gonna keep that too. Ooh, it, I feel like Enter the God Eternals is probably gonna be very, very good. Ooh, that was nice. I appreciate you. <coughs> that was decent. I feel okay about that. In Italy, when they want to say hello in Spanish, they say hola. Huh. Huh. Is that a fun fact? Did I have fun? Enter is very, very good. It's one of my favorite cards from War of the Spark. I think I said that, but it bears repeating. Uh, I think we definitely play Surge. Maybe. I think we definitely play Surge, maybe. Hey, this is crazy. So mill yourself, cause we play search maybe. I heard it once before, but it bears repeating now. Ah 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 ah. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. You don't know why you say goodbye. I say hola, hola, hola. I don't know why you say goodbye. I say hola. Um, I don't want to block you. You're a strong, you're a powerful wizard. All these one for ones are not, not really where I want to be. But, I think this gets better over time, so. I don't think attacking here is really where we want to be. Like, we're going to deal four. They're going to gain three, though. So we're dealing one, <coughs> and we're taking two extra points because then they're free to attack with these guys. So it just doesn't make any sense, really. I don't know why. Oh, Jesus. Uncultured monsters. Oh, Jesus. Bestow a mighty curse. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Wait, what am I missing here? Hmm. Fast man. Well, you got a discard. Got him. Um. Okay. Well, I can't. I'm just gonna steal this. I feel like this is going on. This has been going on for too long. Yep. Hello. Hey now. Hey hey. Uh, ooh. <clears throat> you guys know this jam? It's a, it's a Beatles song. It's, uh... I think it's called Hello, Hello. I'm not, I'm not in a position where I'm just going to surveil for the sake of surveilling it. We could get to it. We could, we could get somewhere. I've heard it once before, but it bears repeating now. Ha 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 How do I look at my graveyard? I guess they're not showing me because I can't... I can't get anything from it. I think we're just getting... You know, the best card in my graveyard. Let's get this guy out of here. And see, now we can do this and feel good about our choices. Oh, see, look at that. <clears throat> I'm gonna put that in the graveyard. We already have one. I'm good with one. Gimme that bird.
I don't know why you say goodbye. I say hola. Hola, hola. Give me that bird. Oh, oh my. Guys, guys, listen. I do like a Twilight Prophet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, well, they're not gonna. I'll give you the bird if you know what I mean. I don't. I don't know what you mean. What do you mean? Do you have a bird that you can, that I that I that you wish to, to 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 give me, and then I can, then I could then take care of it, and I would be the proprietor of said bird. I'm. I guess I'm just not following. I'm sorry. Yes, Frank. I do. What kind of bird is it? Because some of the uh, some of the larger, smarter African birds are actually pretty expensive, like macaws and things. I'm no bird expert, but I'm a big fan of birds. I like birds a lot. I think they're I think they're great creatures. I'm just gonna mill them. I'm gonna attack for a lot. That's like half their life total. Zombie. This looks like a fun new toy. I like that I just made yeah, I like that I just made an angel without actually being able to activate this ability. Rock lobster. Two foods, two foods you can't make an angel, unfortunately, because once foods are in play, angel is no longer. They died. <clears throat> this deck's nice. This Frank plays with a board comprised of cards that are mostly naughty. <laughs> it's, we got an angel. We got one one, one one vampire. <clears throat> All right, I'm doing good. Uh, I'll take out two negates and look there's two search for us contest guys I don't think I like entrancing melody as much in this matchup just because I'd rather deal with these creatures uh, we're definitely bringing cry and ritual of city city sit sits take out one eldest reborn as well bring in three moment of kravangs why do you say it like that I don't know he's kind of weird Wait, what? What? <laughs> Why well, was like, submit the deck, and then it's like, here's a tip. When you submit your deck, your deck is submitted. And I'm like, huh. <clears throat> Speaking of foods, I got one of those Impossible offers today. So good. I like it even better than the White Castle Impossibles. Super Fritz, are you like... Are you veg vegetarian or vegetarian friendly? Like, because I love that you're trying these impossible foods. <clears throat> and also, yes, the Impossible Whopper is fantastic. Kerwin actually ordered me one earlier this week. It was like mm, Wednesday, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, it was Wednesday because Mike was off uh, and we were going to get some food. But uh, I didn't actually eat it. I heated it up the next day on Thursday for lunch and it was still just great. Would you say it was super, Fritz? <laughs> I did bad panini it. I actually put it in the oven. 
I 100% put it in the oven. I will tell you that I did not flip the buns like a like a weirdo. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know if anyone's had the KFC Beyond thing, just because the KFC Beyond meat had sold out in like five minutes, I believe. Five hours? Something ridiculous. And it was only at like one Atlanta KFC, I believe. I love vegetarian food. My mom has been a vegetarian my whole... My mom's been a vegetarian. I eat meat, but I like to try and keep it as... That's me. That's literally me. I eat, I'll eat chicken sometimes. I'll eat turkey sometimes. But like, if there's a vegetarian option on a menu that's going to make me just as satisfied, I'll usually take that. Undreamt tuna. My bidet friend. <clears throat> Is our opponent really going to time out? What's happening right now? Hmm. Okay, they came back. Yeah, I'll keep this time. Once you see Enter the God Eternals, it's like, alright. What could go wrong? Hey! Teja! Leave my bidet alone! All we are is just a, another month with no water. Just curious, how often do you actually eat meat? Because I've heard when vegetarians go back to meat, it can be really upsetting. Um, no, because I've never really completely quit meat. Um, I probably eat meat maybe once, maybe twice a week, if that. All in all, it's just uh, another lock, not knock down. Uh, let's thought or let's erase her some thoughts. Oh god, oh my god! All of these are pretty scary, actually. This is a lot of three drops that I care about. I think I care about Soren the most. Especially because all these other guys get ritualed. Yeah, we'll take the Soren. Um, I will keep that. That stuff will hurt me in the stomach. I like burgers and like the rotisserie chicken we have at Subway. I also like bacon with breakfast. Other than that, I usually prefer non-meat options. My favorite thing is that all of these, all of the non-meat options, like, like burgers specifically are just so close to actual burgers that I'm just like... Like, it doesn't even bother me, really. I'm just like, yeah, that's cool. I am a big sour cream fan. I'm also a cheese fan. All in all, we're just a ritual of soot with no things. How do you feel about eggs? I, I actually love eggs. I think, I feel like eggs, for me personally, I know it's possible, I know it's not, I know I'm being, I know it's just a, it's a weird, it's a weird position, but I think eggs are just too hard for me personally to remove from a diet. I'm also not vegan, you know, I'm, I'm vegetarian, so, or, you know, pseudo-vegetarian, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Show me what you've got. Um, you can have the Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, let's we'll get rid of this. Oh, we can keep that. I don't have a, I don't have six land yet, but it's not worth getting rid of. Well, the Impossible Burgers are wonderful, but I like normal burgers too much to switch over. Wow. Okay, I see how it is. He just needs his, he just needs his Pepper Jack and Mayo fix too badly. I like our I like our first round in the in the best of three bracket more than I like our first round in the best of one bracket. And by first round I mean two rounds. Yep, this guy. All right. Why do I have five cards in hand? Where are all these cards coming from? What are they not playing? Um. 
pay three life for planes, decline. 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 You can have all three of those lands. Enjoy. Pepper Jack and mayo on a burger is good. That sounds great. I put mayo on all my burgers, along with cheese. Uh, I think the problem lies where you, when you add the marinara sauce and the uh, and the meatballs, because meatballs are not the same as just ground like ground beef burgers. Oh boy, <clears throat> really wanted a six land here, but I was vegan for like three weeks once. But then eggs, like eggs, are also in everything. You're like, well, I can't have cookies, I can't have bread, I can't have like it's like it, it limits your options to what you have so greatly. And I'm not saying it's unreasonable to um, <clears throat> I also updated the 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 reward tiers on my patreon page. I kind of did a little a little update last night. So if you guys are watching on YouTube, or if you guys are watching on Twitch and you don't have not subscribed, but you're like, I don't want to spend $5 a month on a sub, you can definitely check out patreon.com slash franklapore, and um, the links are in the description below. And uh, you can uh, donate like $1 or $2 a month. $3 gets you access to the Discord channel. Um, $5 gets you access into a raffle <coughs> along with the Discord channel. Like, you get uh, you get an access to a raffle. Uh, every month I'll do a, uh, a deck critique from, from one of the $5 tiers. So, I felt like that was a, a reasonable thing to do. Um, yeah, that's fine. Are you gonna like put a one-one counter? So it's like if someone wants a deck critique, but like they're not, they don't want to spend the, they don't have the, they don't have the money to to donate for that. Like, if you just want to do the five dollar, like it's 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 very possible to like get your name pulled out of a hat, so to speak. Um, pass, pass. We hit a land. We're just lily awning and and doing it right. Oh, dang it! All right, we're just gonna enter the God Eternals. Well, the thing is, like, <clears throat> so Pepper Jack actually might be fine because it's just a creamy cheese, right? And that's all you really want. But we have seven cards. Yeah, we're not gonna draw again. Um. The problem is that, like, meatballs and burgers are not the same, like, they're not the same, they have different spices, they're not the same, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, consistency? Like, I guess consistency is fine, but, like, the flavor, the flavor composition is different. I don't actually think milling ourselves is like, I don't, I don't, I think, I don't know, like, I have weird thoughts on milling. <clears throat> Which I've gone over before. See, and this is why we have mass manipulation, ladies and gentlemen. We do need one more land. Come on, land off the top. Right, but like we already have four cards in the graveyard. If I mill the first the first card I have, it's gonna be five. If we essence scatter or mass manipulation something, like we're almost already there. Like I think it's like I mean, you're talking about the difference of like one turn from flipping as Kanta. Reckless and ill -refined. Okay. Oh, this is mass manipulation. This is, oh wait, hold on. One, two, three, four. Gain control of X. So we just one, right? Yeah, it still works. It's the same cost.
get over here. It's a, it's a little scorpion from uh, Yeah, it was Scorpion from Virtue Fighter. <clears throat> that was uh, the Nintendo fighting game that came out a long time ago. It was the first cell shaded fighting game. Why no forest tier? Is there not a forest tier? What do I have? Mountain is the lowest because mountain's the worst land. Island is the highest because island's the best land. There's a one, two, three, five. Isn't there a forest here? There's got to be a forest here, right? Did I not? Oh, hold on. I, I messed up. There is a forest here. I just, for some reason, I didn't publish it, I guess. That's weird. Okay, now there's a forest here. I wonder if there was never a forest here. Wow. Okay, so now there is a forest here. Wow, I've never had... Have I never had one? That's insane. I could have sworn I had a forest here. Ah. <sighs> I guess we just play this. Like, I really don't feel like playing. I guess we could have just played Liliana, made a guy. I don't know why I was like, well, if I'm not gonna. In my head, I'm like, if I'm not gonna negative four Liliana, I might as well not play her yet. I wonder if I've never had the forest here published. Huh. That's very strange. <clears throat> they have 12 minutes, we have 21 minutes. Do you think it's because you subconsciously hate trees? Buddy, I consciously hate trees. No, I love trees. I'm a big fan of trees. Just say so. I mean, they have only Kaya's Wrath, so it's up to you if you want a Kaya's Wrath here. You ever been to California? We've got some good trees. that are, I do. I've actually been to California several times, and I've loved it every time. Um, one, two, three. We have, let's library that. I like having Essence Scatter and Liliana. I require servants. Your court. Rise and shine. Frank versus the Lorax. Who loved trees? These are the questions. You guys are asking the hard-hitting questions here. <laughs> I'm 
just to save my feet. Uh, sure. I have been out of the mass manips. Yeah, once they steal my once they steal my angel, I'd be like I'm out. I saw a tree taller than the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> I saw a tree taller than the Statue of Liberty. That sounds like a real Bill Brasky moment. Um, library. I think we just want the lands. Smelly, but She's real close to ultimating too. Yikes. We get to mill your Haunt of Hightower, which makes me actually extremely sad. And your Elder Spell? Oh, that was a good hit. That makes me sad because I'm a big fan of this card, but, you know. Alright, you got it. Uh, decline. You can have that one. Eh, take action. Eh, decline. Why do you hate trees? <laughs> How dare you? Just to save my feelings. And tell me nothing's wrong. <laughs> eh, I mean, I have mono essence scatters in hand. I feel like we're still so far from winning, though. Like, we, I want to close this game out, but. Isn't there a tree you can drive your car through? Like, I thought there was in California. Yeah, it's one of the redwoods, right? I heard it fell down recently. That seems terrifying. The Wawana tree. It fell a couple years ago. How does a tree like that fall and not like... Uh, okay, now we'll put this in the graveyard because we have enough lands. And, oh, okay. Well, that did it, I guess. He's like, oh, you're going to draw... You're going to put a land in the graveyard? Done. Gonna, gonna climb right out of this bronze rank. Super Fritz, the problem with this deck so far is that... Oh, Mnemonic Betrayal. Ooh, is the is that I really have no changes to suggest right now. I would be tempted to cut one essence scatter for one moment. Like just just because sometimes creatures just resolve. And it's hard like there's a bunch of like that 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 match of the mono red match specifically where I'm just like, well, your guy got through. So I kind of want to deal with it. But that's really kind of it. Because you also still have three Sinister Sabotages. Like, I just don't see a ton of changes needing to be made because it's just a good control deck. And we're still going to keep going. 
I've said this before, but one of my one of the worst feelings, like when I'm when I'm critiquing a deck for someone, is when I don't have a ton of changes to make because the deck performs really well. Um, because I feel like I didn't do my job, you know. I'm like, but sometimes there's just not that much to change. Sometimes you guys submit decks that are just good; they're just solid on their own. You know what? Five lands seems like where you want to be in this deck. When that happens, the viewer is probably happy because it means the deck is good and you're validating them. I guess that's true. I don't see it that way. I mean, like, I didn't see it that way. I do now. But, like, I didn't see it that way because, like, I'm the one who's, like... It's just insecure in imposter syndrome, you know, where you're, like... Uh, no Thief of Sanity, but, like, we also have... Oh, no. See, this is a part This is a part where a moment of craving would be very, very good. Uh, no Thief of Sanity, but we also have, like, Ritual of Soots and things. Like, this is a deck where you kind of want to keep your mana up and not tap out for a... Oh, dear God. Thank God for that negate. Okay, well. I just don't want them to get too out of control. Like, we don't mind a lot of times. We just enjoy seeing it. If you don't make it... We can still learn from your decisions. I'm oh, and don't forget my mistakes. You can definitely learn from my mistakes as well. Something's happening. Ugh. You have two cards in hand. I'm just going to sabotage that. Have yourself a merry... I'm actually going to graveyard this. Because you're going to have two five drops. Like, I really like something I can play next turn. That's not it. Except for the fact that I'll just play it as my land. Thief is also my favorite card. Uh, I I think it's great. Have yourself a merry little a mass. May your zombies be large. <laughs> This is too many lands. Every time I get a Teferi into the graveyard, I'm like, one fewer Teferis. Oh, they finally got a black source. That's a yikes. Oh, wow, that's great. Take two from your land. Look at my hand of three lands. Fantastic. I'll try and submit worse decks. You like the blue eye polymorph deck was great. Out, Dan's. I have a problem with singing Christmas songs randomly throughout the year, regardless of time. Like it just there's no there's oh wow that's fantastic. There's no time frame where I'm gonna be like, should I sing Christmas songs? It just kind of happens. Take four to deal two when you're at the lower life total. That's an interesting. Uh, it's a bold strategy, Cotton. What's this last card in your hand? That's what I want to know. Is there a time where you want to buy four stone forges? Chris, I'll, what, what's your price on four stone forges? I might just pick them all up. I have one foil in my cube, and I'd rather just have a regular in my cube. So I'm tempted. If you really want to sell all four, I might just pick up all four. Oh, God. Oh, wait, that's... I know oh, God. Responsibility. Oh, my God. Chris had a play set of Stoneforge Mystics that he's trying to sell, and I was like, I could use two of them. And he's like, no, I want to... Oh, Constantine posted that he wants to? Oh, that's fantastic. Yes! That's... This might be a bad idea. Got it. 
huh? One, two, three. Okay, well, that wasn't the worst draw. Okay, thought erasure for thought erasure. You got it. It may have, in fact, been the best draw. It's very possible. Sure. I'll gain a life so that it's not so it's not lethal. <laughs> All right, seems good. Here we go. Oh wait, no, let's not do that. Let's block this guy so you don't get your so you get your guy back. Sure. All right, and. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lands, huh? Well, we have to block. They get their guy back. And that's how I died. Well, I feel like we actually, uh... We tried. Hmm. I think I want the other ritual of soot. I don't like Elder Reborn when they have uh, when they have hero. I kind of like Unmoored Ego just to get rid of Teferis. They have a lot of three toughness guys. The Elite Vanguard. Is that what it's called? The Elite Guard Mage, whatever that thing is called. Whatever that floaty idiot's called. I almost kind of like spell pierce too. Let's get rid of the melodies here. Bring in spell pierce. Or duress. Hmm. All right. Uh, snap it. Snap it off. I bordered an Ego for Teferi. Um, yeah, I've done the same. Get out of here. I just think, I think if there's any card in Standard uh, that's worth boarding in a on more Ego for, it's definitely Teferi. Wow. Bellhaunt. Teferi and Narset, huh? Well, we're going to get rid of both of these. I guess we'll get rid of the Teferi first. I will keep that on top. Why Duress instead of Spellpierce? Uh, because Duress can always get rid of Teferi, whereas, like, in the late game... I guess, I don't know, it's kind of like... I guess it works the same way, right? So they can play this guy. Don't really care. Two bell haunts is obnoxious when we have. Right, like if they play spell pierce, or if they play, if they resolve a Teferi, like we just have no, we can't actually cast uh, spell pierce at that point. Yep, figured that that would be a thing we did. Got the shrine tapped into. Yep. Yeah, that's obnoxious. This guy also doesn't die to. Uh... Okay, well that's decent because now we know we can counter the other one.
And I was just running the other one out there. I would like a land here. Okay. Wow, last game we get infinite lands. This game we don't get enough to put a Liana when they have two creatures on board. That's something. That's something. I'm playing Arena and Gabby's playing Modern. That's that's hilarious, actually. What are the odds of that? Oh, here we go. All right. Three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, if they could just not play anything this turn and we can hit a land and play Liliana, that's really all I want. Okay, it's a good start. Come on. That's literally the exact opposite of what I want, because then they sack these two and we still take seven, so I think we're dead. <sighs> yep. Too many negates. That's unfortunate. So we're technically... What are we? Uh, we're 1-1-3 one, one, and three in 3-0 three matches. Um, so I'd actually put in, I would take out one of the negates. Sometimes there's matchups where the negates just aren't as good. And like main deck, you just, I'd actually bring in one more moment of craving. What's, um, isn't there another ritual of soot type card? Isn't there another black, like removal spell, like black sweeper? I mean, I've definitely just put another one in. Yeah, not cry. I'm talking about like an actual, like a, a one that's better than Ritual of Soot. I might be thinking of something else though. I would assume I am. Send money. Oh, I'll still keep this hand. It's got three two drops. Let's lead with Dismal because that's never going to not be untapped. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Sulfur Falls? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried about anything negatable this turn. Istanbul, not Constantinople. Not Istanbul, Constantinople. Saturday night, Constantinople. Dismal backwater. Keep on rolling. I'm just going to keep it. I think it's actually fine here. What are you, a 2 2? This art's great. I like this art a lot. This art's very comic booky. What is even happening? Um. What does this guy cost? Three? I'm going to library this. I don't love it, but. We do need lands, so. So next turn we can steal this guy. And then the turn after that, ideally, we'll mass manipulation something. Here comes Crackling Drake. Oh, double birds. Double birds in the sky. Have a holly jolly Christmas. God, he's still singing it. It's on. It's the best time of the year. Give me this guy. Yo, I can have this bird. Oh my god, they're gonna spell pierce it. Oh god, that sounds that feels terrible. That's that's worse. Oh god, what's happening right now? Oh, 
Oh, we're stealing that for sure. I mean, like, we're gonna try to steal that for sure. Library that again. We haven't, like, we haven't milled, like, anything yet. X will be one. Steal this guy. Why don't you have reach? Okay. Wow, that's a 3-3. Three, three. I take 9 here. Ritual of Soot off the top would be nice. Oh, and they're just gonna draw two? That seems good. Well, sometimes you just die to a lightning strike. Okay, so infinite birds. Mono birds dot deck. <clears throat> Take out that guy. Where's them ritual assets? All the ritual assets are coming in. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Take out a Narset. Two great examples are when, when X gonna give it to you. X did give it to me. I was like, oh. Well, that's sad. Take out the, I'm gonna take out a lot of these controlling cards like Jace's and Narset's because I'd much rather just be killing their things. Alright. Well. I'm crossing these fingers. You will get a zoo do 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 zooby do I will play first. Uh I will mulligan this hand. I will keep this hand. I like this curve too. Two, three, four, five. God, end of the God Eternals is so good. Did I just get rid of Cruelty? I can't get rid of Ritual. I think we can get rid of Cruelty here. I will keep six. Because, like, this is going to get rid of a creature. This is going to get rid of lots of creatures. And then when they, whatever they follow it up with, we'll, uh... We'll do that. Voices singing, let's be jolly. Dick the holes with bear hills of holly. Why is he singing Christmas songs? No, he knows. Oh. Uh. Uh. Murmuring Mystic for sure. One, two. We can bottom that. We have two lands already. We didn't take the Eagle because they have to play on turn four. And it, Ritual of Soul will kill that, but it won't kill this. And that guy could get out of hand. Also, the Urchai, I just got your email. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate that. I will respond to it tonight. Oh, is this a is this a spicy modern list? Oh, that's nice. I'm a fan. Okay, so basically, what what what's basically happening right now is that we probably can't lose because we have like three ways to deal with creatures. Now they're gonna play their little bird. I'm gonna no sir your bird. Strike, strike, God's willing. I'm going to go to the God's Willing. I don't care if I take six here. <laughs> like, that's fine. I'd rather just you not have an answer for my, etern my Enter the God Eternals. Ooh. Yeah, any deck, any any blue-black deck with Enter the God Eternals is just... This is like one of my favorite cards. I've said it like four times, but I just love this card. It just does everything. It's like the... Really? I'm known for my excellent timing. I wish this could deal four damage to a planeswalker. Oh god. 
Teferi, you are scum of the earth, my friend. I can't wait till Corset 2021, which is Teferi. Everybody's it's just... Who's not looking forward to that? A second Enter the God Eternals. I'll protect you. Dick the halls with bells of Why is he singing Christmas songs? Fuck I get him out of my head, guys. Oh, a little cry car. Kai car? Cry car. Well that dude's dead. I mean they're gonna burn me in response, but Teferi at two? Thank goodness. Oh, they didn't burn me in response to get a to get a guy? That's cool. Uh, I actually haven't listened to the new Tool album. And I feel like I should. <laughs> oh, everybody is working for the weekend. I got this. Do you got this? Do -do 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 I don't like that they can draw a card and shoot my guy. Oh, don't get me wrong, I love old Tool albums, man. <laughs> oh, Sinister Sabotage. We have a good time. We have a good time. Try this. I'm sure they're just gonna kill this. Can we draw either Liliana or that one Jace that we left in? Yep, that's that's what I figured you'd do. You are a mighty warrior. I can see. Oh, baby. Oh god, that's annoying. <sighs> yep, that's fine, I guess. I two just on my lunch break, which started about 90 minutes ago. Dick. You can tell how big time Josh is uh, because of his 90 minute lunch breaks. He can just take him. He can take take as long as he likes. I've got it. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so you're gonna discard a card. It's not terrible. I feel like not a lot of work gets done because of me. Because I feel like mo a lot. Actually, a lot of my my dudes uh, are watching at work. Put in another Spectral Sailor. Negate. I mean, the joke's on you. I wanted you to negate that so I can play Enter the God Eternals next turn. But I'm sure you also have God's Willing in hand, so. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. That's like three foot long Subway sandwiches. <laughs> That's three feet of sandwich. Oh, what do we get back here? Crycar dies to Lightning Strike. How many Lightning Strikes have you used? Only two, huh? What's in our graveyard? Narset? Yeah, we're definitely getting one of your things. 
three three flyer. Whenever you create a one 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 blue bird, and this makes a one one white spirit. Thank you. This is any non creature spell. Yeah, we're taking because I think a cry car. Jack, and thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we hit a land with Jace, it's good. I think I just want this Jace to resolve, to be quite honest. Make make a bird. Put a bird on it. You know, have another negate. Sure. Oh god, Moment of Craving is terrible at this particular juncture. I didn't know they had Wizard's Lighting, otherwise I would have taken the... Uh, when I wish I had Kefnet, jeez. Alright, I guess we're just passing here. God, this Teferi, dude. That's more like it. Oh, Mel, I actually didn't even... I can't even say I noticed the Teferi... The, um... The 2-2 Haster in the graveyard. It totally just... Slipped my vision, I guess. Well, hope you got a thing. Just kidding. I hope you don't have a thing. But this could be good. Yeah, ultimately, not seeing the 2 2 Haster uh, ended up being correct. Narset and 2-2 two -two Flyer seems good. Keep an open mind. I mean, eventually this guy will be dead, and our handful of counters will uh, be sure to win out. But we're definitely going to mass manipulation this Teferi. And ha ha ha! Yes! Thanks to Narset if they want to bounce our zombie like they can't actually even draw the card. Fantastic. All right. We have two negates and four sinister sabotage. Like, that's a good amount. I feel like that's good enough. The reflex is a raging child. <laughs> Opponent's name is misleading, but they conceded. So it actually makes total sense, right? Just keep seven here. I want to keep seven here. Ritual of Sid is great. And if we get one more blue source, we're good to go. 
I like it. My friend here doesn't like you. He has the death sentence on 12 systems. I'll be careful. You'll be dead. I don't like you either. Oh, it's I have the death sentence. It's I have the death sentence on 12 systems. Oh, we didn't, we did not, we did not draw the blue source. We did draw another land though, so Ritual of Sits online. So whatever they play here is just fine. Unless it's four drop, unless it's a Murmuring Mystic. In which case, this one land will ruin our whole life. I've also been feeling like I need to watch the uh, original Star Wars trilogy. I've also had a real uh, Star Wars trilogy rewatching, especially in like I want it. I want to be. I want to. I want it to be. Uh, I want to watch it in like real updated niceness. Oh, this is just fine. I'll just take five and then I'll just kill everything. <clears throat> Here we're gonna draw an island. You're welcome. Yeah, I actually I always hear about those experiences where people get to watch them with a live orchestra, like doing John Williams, and it's just like that's ins that's insane. That's all I want. Hmm. Well, that's pretty okay, I guess. Meh. I mean, I'm sure they got a negate. I was either putting them on negate or uh, God's willing. It's like, it's one or the other, so. Oh, wow, that resolved. I, do hope you make this I don't really want Liliana to go to two, though. So if she goes to seven, they have to attack her. Yeah, we're just going to make a guy here. Because if they want to spend, like, two of their cards to kill Liliana... And also attack it, like, that's totally fine. There's a wizard. It's an elemental wizard. There's one. I hope you washed your hands first. Isn't there isn't there a chronologically correct order? Wait, what am I thinking of? I think I am thinking of Star Wars, right? Isn't there like a a correct order where they're like, this is the this is the order you should watch it in? Well, now we have two counter spells up. That's pretty good. I feel like we're turning the corner here. Four, five, one, two, three, six is the order. That's interesting. And then I guess seven and eight are just seven and eight. One, two, three, a new hope, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you're saying one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? One, two, three, four, five, and then we have two mana. So now we get to kill this while they're tapped out, and we also get to queue up Sinister Sabotage. Seven, eight, four, three, two. <laughs> eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine is the order you should watch them in. Oh, Josh, you, you strike me as the kind of guy who would not be a fan of 7 and 8. 
three, six, seven, eight, eight, it's eight, six, seven, right? Why are you, what are you, what is your, what are you doing right now? The reflex. Yeah, I'll keep a negate. Now we have a negate and an enter, enter the God Eternals, and I think we're just winning this game. So this puts them to eight, and then we have eight power on board, and we have a negate, and enter the God Eternals. Got him! Are we 2 1 right now? What did we lose to? Oh, we lost to the the Hero of Blade Hold deck. <laughs> hero of Blade Hold, Hero of Pre Saint 1 deck. I think a renewed hope is fine, though, when the movie is like 40 years later, right? Like 79, 89, 99, 2009. It's like 40 years later. Like, you could renew the hope in 40 years. Now that's pod racing. Okay. Any other changes we want to make to this bad boy? I don't think so. I do like the moments. Uh, I think the other ritual of sitting the sideboard is definitely helpful. One of the things I still can't get over is how... Natalie Portman was was how old Natalie Portman is, and then Anakin was a literal child, like eight years old, and then Natalie Portman was still however old Natalie Portman is, and then Anakin is an adult old enough to interact with her in a sexual romantic connotation, uh, in, in, a, in a in a manner in a sexual romantic manner, and um, that seems weird. Like, anyone who grows... Like, if you grow up with someone when they're a child and you're, like, an adult at that time, it's a real Woody Allen thing, right? Like, it's it's real Woody Allen. And it's just like... Come on, what's going on here? I mean, you know, like, maybe she's... Maybe he's 8 and she's, like, 16. And then he's 20 and she's 28. Is that less weird? I don't know. They're from, they're from different planets. Maybe they age differently. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Um... I'm gonna rel I'm gonna library this because it does everything I want it to do. Oh, we already had one. That's... What a dummy. He's 9 and she's 14. Okay, like, if that's true, that's a lot better. Because 5 years is not a, not a relevant difference, really. Does it ease the mind if it's in space? No, because, like, this is space, too. Like, technically, we're in space. I enjoyed watching Rogue One after Revenge of the Sith and before New Hope. I actually love I love Rogue One. I think Rogue One is great. It's And it has, and it has completely nothing to do with the fact that I love Jyn Erso as a character. And I also love... Uh, I love Mads Mikkelsen, so, you know, those are completely unrelated, I'm sure. This is never resolving, I just want to be clear. Oh, it resolved. Fascinating. And they have literal zero spells for this Terramander? I think I'm way too scared of counter spells against blue decks when I probably shouldn't be, but I don't know, man. Drawn from dreams. I like that this is your whole turn. That makes me feel good. <clears throat> I 
Rogue One is super awesome. I feel like it, it feels like a historical fiction wartime film. A really cool... It does have a really wartime... Because they're, like, storming the beaches. Um, yeah, I can definitely see that. Do we just... Slam Liliana here? The answer is yes. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. So they can attack for one here. What do they got? One, two... They only have two... And this costs eight, so it's gonna cost six. So realistically, there's no way they can actually pump this. Even if they do, like, I think it's fine. I'm mixing my coffee and using one of one of lightsaber chopsticks as a stir. That's classic, though. That's totally fine. Mike uses his finger, so that's weird. Like he'll just be like this, and I'm just like, "What are you doing, man? What are you doing?" Okay, so this is what? One, two, this is going to be three. If they surveil a fourth, they still only have five, six, seven. So. They did not surveil something. So this is three, four, five, six. A land would be seven. But then we get something back. We can get back. God, nothing good. Nothing good. Augur Bolus is fine, I guess. He's a simple boy. Plus, he's used to drinking trash keys. It's had way worse than fingers, and it gross, gross. Not today, Death. That's the grossest thing I've ever heard. Um, I'm gonna graveyard this. You're the one that I want. <laughs> and a whiff. Okay. I can send Mike a lightsaber chopstick to mix his coffee. I have multiple pairs. He still wouldn't use it. It's not a matter of him having nothing to use it with. It's just a matter of him being like, I didn't get one, so I'm just gonna just gonna finger it. I know eighty-eight ways to defeat you. To meditate and prepare. Huh. What if I want multiple of these? I'm just gonna finger it. Oh god. That emote is like the best, dude. Oh Jesus. Oh lord. Do I just wanna do I wanna the question is do I wanna steal this or do I wanna look at their hand? I think I wanna look at their hand. I don't care about your stupid bird. You're the one that I want. <laughs> You're gonna cast down? Okay. I gotta draw a card? Jesus. Get, get it together. Oh wow. Look at this beauty. Look at this beauty. Vraska's contempt has got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Vraska's contempt has got to go. Hey, hey. Uh, I think we're just gonna draw a card because this guy's getting pretty sizable now. Do you think being able to accept everyone and not judge is a sign of intelligence? Uh... <clears throat> I, I think it... Yes, I think it definitely comes down. I think smarter people are more compassionate. Um, because they can see a larger picture, right? Does that make sense? Like, you're able to look past things. You're able to look past flaws. You're able to look past... Uh, in, like, you're able to look at why a person is... Did we just win that match? Okay, that's pretty good. I I mean, I've never been... I've, I, I've never been, like, one of those dudes that goes clubbing or parties or anything. Just can't kill. Are right, we doing one more? I 
Okay, so here's the thing. I don't. I, I think there are incredibly smart people that aren't compassionate, but I don't think. I don't think you have to be smart. I don't think you have to be compassionate to be smart. I. I. I do think there is a connection to intelligence when it comes to being compassionate, though. I don't think there's a lot of. I don't want to say dumb, but I don't think there's a lot of unintelligent people who are super compassionate, because I think compassion innately is tied to thoughtfulness and being uh, in self-awareness and awareness of other people and like what they're going through. And like, I think there's a, it's, it's a limitation. Like when you're, when you're not kind to someone or when you're not, right. Again, like I'm not saying all, not all compassionate people are smart or not, not all smart people are compassionate, but all smart people, I think all compassionate people are, should be more, more intelligent, more, more, maybe intelligence isn't the word, but self-aware. I don't know. It's, it's hard because there's sometimes the, sometimes a lot of these, these, uh, these qualifiers get conflated. Like there's, it's very easy to conflate like self-awareness and intelligence and things like that, because a lot of times they go hand in hand. You know what I mean? Like. Ever been in a mosh pit? I actually have not been in a mosh pit. It's funny because, like, when me... <clears throat> when I was visiting Katie, like, a week ago, or two weeks ago, like, we went to see Mumford & Sons on Saturday, and one of the things... Um, did they attack first and then play Chandra? That's interesting. One of the things we were saying... Who is this? Is this Mu Yanling? Who is that? One of the things we were saying is that it's super nice to be able to, like, have seats... And because, you know, because you can sit down, like, I, I remember when every, every time I went to shows when I was, like, in my, you know, my 20s or, like, late late teens or whatever, and I would see, like, the Get Up Kids or Saves the Day or whoever, you know, whatever, whatever hip emo band I was listening to at the time, I would always be like, God, I just have to stand up this whole time. It didn't bother me then, I guess. At the time, I was just like, yeah, this is fine. I'll stand because that's life. But, like, now, looking back, I'm like, God, I wish I could just, I wish I could just sit down. <laughs> I'm like... I'm like, hey, are we going to a, we're going to a show? Um, do they have seats? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Good. That's all I want. I think that's true. So, Amplor, um, the thing is, like, so this is an interesting conversation we're getting into. You're you're saying that like uh, high performers and successful people, most of them were unhappy. Um, the thing is, I think a lot of those successful people and those those really high performers, um, they're they're geared in such a way that they put their entire selves into their work. You know what I mean? So like, in order to be successful, in order to succeed in like a capitalist system, um, you kind of have to be more cutthroat and more more brash. Yeah, I think we're just dead here because like we can't deal with one dreadhorde butcher, unfortunately. If we had one more land, we could steal it, which is great. So I guess that we're still... I guess we're still in play here if we hit a land. Okay. Nope. You gotta go. Land one time to steal Dreadhorde Butcher. That seems very, very good. We get a 6-6. Six, six. We get to block and kill a thing on the way out. Okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> I mean, if there was ever a mosh pit, someone was going to die, and it would 100% be a, a Slipknot mosh pit. I had the same thought at Dashboard Confessional. I'm like, when I went to see, I went to see American football in uh, in Seattle, and I was like. Are there seats? Do I get to sit down? Perfect. I want to sit down and watch American football play. That's all I want. I do not care about uh, about having to stand. I don't care about getting super close. I just want a nice arena, a nice like venue where I can sit down and enjoy the show with nice with nice acoustics. I was gonna concede. 
Man, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Oh, you want to talk about some OG emo throwbacks? I lived in Florida in the early 2000s. And uh, Chris Caraba was... He's from here, man. Oh my god, they exiled it. That sucks. Eh, we're still okay. Oh, that's good if we can hit a land. We can get Mayhem Devil. Anything else good? Not really. How do we deal with this guy? I don't think we do. We just have to take one here. They have no things. I'm just going to play Narsted here because we still get to keep Negade. That was our only option, unfortunately. Don't his parents own Karabas like the restaurant? <laughs> no, Dan's. That's ridiculous. Um, wait. 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 Excellent. Let's take this. Let's go land. Let's go Liliana. Okay. Well, I didn't think you were dead there, but... Which one floats? What's going on? We don't have any talent troopers here, unfortunately, but... What's with that JE? Were you were you like did you switch to French for a second there? All right. <clears throat> so we're definitely bringing that in. We're definitely bringing that in. Probably bringing that in. Probably bringing that in. I'll take out one negate, one sinister. Eldest Reborn seems bad in this matchup. We. <laughs> I see what you did there. How old are we talking with an elderly person in the mosh pit? I will keep this one. Almost 40? Elderly. You fucking... You, wow, that's... What a scumbag. What an absolute scumbag. I don't feel like intelligence has side effects. I feel like... I feel like the system that we've set up currently in society uh, rewards people who are ruthless. It rewards people who are... Uh, who value success over compassion. Like, that's just... I think that's just the way it works. I'm going to bottom this. We have four lands. I think we're good for now on Landos. Ouch, hit a nerve, I guess. How dare you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see that cry of the carnaria mouth? That thing looked fierce. I think we just won the game. They can't play Bond 2. Oh, we just get to keep up infinite counter spells? Get out of town. Get out of town. Buddy. I'm gonna do Sinister Sabotage because it costs more mana. And we have both of these. Yeah, we'll keep that. I think we can Jace here. But there's no reason to. That's the thing. We hit one more land and we're good. I play control decks poorly sometimes because of my impatience. Like, there's no reason to play a Jace here. Like, we have things to do. They have no cards in hand. Alright, we're just going to double S and scatter. I just want nothing on the board and I'll play a Jace and then we'll be... Double moment of craving seems good. Yeah, that seems fine.
I'm gonna trust that you don't draw any. I'm just gonna. We don't have to do that now. There's no reason to play search when we have a negate. Like they're just gonna draw a Chandra. That's eh, a minary bird. Okay. Let's try this. Jay's hitting that seven. Let's see what Narset has to offer. Ooh. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, at six, this is just better, right? One, two, three. We only have four mana up. Yeah, we'll just take this. Is that the Juposhi? Get out of here. Manips is gas. Guys, are you talking about are you talking about Manips? I think this is like 4-1 with the deck right now. 3-1? It's probably no, it's definitely 4-1, right? Again, I still wish Magic Arena had a way to track that. I'm tempted to do one more. I think we can do one more. We're at an hour and 46. I'm trying to keep... I try to keep them under two hours, just around two hours. Because that's consumable. And I feel like that's a good amount of play. <clears throat> but, uh... We can do one more. That game was... That match was quick. But, I mean, like, the small changes we made, I feel like the moment of cravings in the main deck do help. Uh, for those creatures that sneak through the cracks. Because it seems like we might have a hard time dealing with those. And, uh... The ritual of Soot... The, the third ritual of Soot in the sideboard seems very, very good. Yeah, right, sure. <clears throat> that would be unfathomable ten years ago. I mean, like most of my videos on Mag on because oh, I mean they're Magic Online videos, so it's really hard to make a Magic Online or a Magic gameplay video under two hours, really. You know. on lands is this your roommate you're playing against <laughs> oh man that's fire dude that's actually how he spells his name, too. Everyone spells it incorrectly, but that's how you do it. That's hilarious. This guy's kind of a little prick. Surprisingly, I just want lands here. I taught someone how to play Magic recently. They had they had bought one of those deck builder box things. It had no talent troopers in it. Then did you actually really teach them to play Magic? If you teach someone to play Magic and the, the, the box they buy has no talent troopers in it, did you really teach them? I would love some lands here, I'll be honest with you guys. I feel like I think we're playing against a blue green counter deck and that just feels bad. Yeah, it's getting worse. <laughs> did you really teach the magic? Yeah. So you did? Wow. Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, well I guess we're gonna have to discard. This is where they play Fat Wolf. Oh, I see. Trickster, trickster, unsummon, uns this hand is terrible. That's no good. That hand 
is actual trash. Mind and body should move in the it's gonna be four lands, ready? Just the trick for this. Okay. Only two lands. No, no lands, right? Two lands? I have no idea how many lands were there. Well, that's sad. You got it. That can stay on the top. It gets night. I'm not even gonna. We have seven cards in hand. Like, activating Narset doesn't do anything here. And then we just miss the land drop. Where we can Eldest Reborn and they don't have anything against it. Blech. You cannot see your folly. See what this one card is, huh? Oh, they could have bounced their guy in response and then replayed it post. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, that's unfortunate. If we hit a land, we can entrancing melody that, or mass manipulation that. I guess then they just bounce it, so. Well, we did hit a land. So they unsummon and then attack Liliana. But then we just get Liliana back, right? So. If I were you, I'd just surrender right now. Yep, that seems fine. They replay it. Then we get Liliana back with Eldest Reborn and then just do it again. That actually seems insane. <laughs> They're like, well, no, oh, okay. Yep, do that. Do that. I am exhausted. I am also exhausted. Uh, let's go to my graveyard. Plus, we get to keep Sinister Sabotage and Negate up here, so... This should for sure get rid of these guys. See you later, bye! Um, yeah, alright. And now we win the game. Their Essence Scatter is basically a blank against us, so they have two cards. Sure. to find in war. Oh, I just feel like we have no reason to play anything here. <clears throat> nice scry, bro. <laughs> I mean... Oh, wow, did they do this during main phase? And then they... Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Rise and shine. Do I care about this? Not really. I mean, I have cruelty. I have enter. I have entrancing melody. Like the number of the number of things I have for this, guys. That doesn't do anything. No, that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying, man. Just a worthless liar. I am just an imbecile. Trust. Trust. 
I'll complicate you. Trust in me and fall as well. I'll find a sunder in you. I will chew it up and leave. Huh. One, two, three, four, five. <coughs> Hmm. Oh, this is my Burful Katrixty. Yeah, again, totally fine. <laughs> the old Merfolk trickster into concession. If you had to rank your top 10 magic cards that I would name my kids after, would negate make the cut? Maybe. Um, all right, so. I don't know if I like Eldest Reborn in this matchup because they usually have a bunch of little dirtles. Da -da -da -dirtles. I kind of like Duress, though, a lot. Jesus, blow your freaking whistle! <laughs> <clears throat> this is my son, Biogenic Ooze. I, if you're going to name your kid after a magic card, the clear choice is Shark to Crab. I think that's correct. I uh, I think there's a lot of... I think you can... I'm going to take Entrancing Melody out. I think for Spell Pierce... Gravel Gill Axe Shark? Is that a card? I'm googling Gravel Gill Axe Shark right now. That's amazing, dude. I love when there's magic cards that I forget exist. <laughs> this is this is my son, Gravel Gill Axe Shark. Pox is Pox here? Uh, I'm Small Pox. Please, my father is Pox. Oh lord. Shark to grab hypothesis of Bellerin. Wow, that's a that's an incredible name and I I'm very proud of you for it. I will find a center in you. I will chew it up and leave. I will only elevate you. Trust Sure. Uh, Frilled Mystic. For sure. So what do you what are your hand? Merfolk and Opt. I'll keep the Essence Scatter actually because we can duress next turn and then also counter this gentleman. See your merry little hand in this. Okay, so we can either pay and assume this is a, a, a nothing, right? Because they're not going to let me take both cards. So I'm going to decline. And then we're it's going to be like we duress them anyway. We have to enter the God Eternals this thing. I think your turtle's new nickname should be Gravel Ax Gravel Kill Axe Shark. I think that's a good nickname for for her. I think she'd really appreciate that.
Yeah, whenever there's a fart let out in a classroom or, or at a place of work and uh, they don't know who did it, it's always going to be Windrake. Like I said earlier, thank you guys for uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out patreoncom slash Lepore, it's a great way to support the stream. There are several tiers that that could uh, I could uh, you know. What are you saying? I'm saying several tiers that you, that you can support the stream with for less than five dollars a month. A month, like a dollar or two dollars a month, it's like nothing. No, uh, just just absolutely not. That is the most threatening card I've ever seen. And also, if you guys are interested in having your own decks critiqued by me, uh, you can definitely check me out at frank at franklapore.com. Send me an email. Um, how many cards do they have? They have three cards. We know one of them. I think it's Thought Erasure Time. Thought Erasure Time. Thought Thought Erasure Time. And that's also a great way to support the channel. Slam those like and subscribe buttons as well. There is a forest here. We got it today, my dude. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. The thing is, if they actually don't let this resolve, if they counter this, oh, they're just going to concede. And this deck was pretty sweet. Brandon, thank you so much for the opportunity to play this, man. I had a good time. And I never felt like we were outclassed, really. Moment of cravings were good. If you want to support Frank the Hardway, you can also travel the world on foot, proclaiming the gospel. That's true, you can do that. And uh, you know, social media keep us up to date with your progress when you're uh, when you're walking the earth, a la jewels from from Pulp Fiction. And um, I really appreciate you guys hanging out. I'm not leaving if you're watching on Twitch. I'm just leaving if you're watching on YouTube, unfortunately. But slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can also check out CoolStuffInc.com. I had an article go up two days ago this past Wednesday. Um, anyway, you, it's this is this video is probably going up next Tuesday based on the lineup. So it's probably Tuesday. So I'm gonna have an article going up tomorrow. And um, I also had one go up last week. It's about uh, some sweet decks in modern. So uh, be sure to check those out. You can uh, leave a comment in the article. That helps me out a ton as well. Use promo code FRANK5. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, as far as the deck goes, though, like I think I was talking about it uh, in between matches and things. I like the changes we made. Our record kind of speaks for itself. We only lost one round in the, the best of three. And um, I thought it was good. So, Super Fritz, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, it was great. And uh, hopefully you guys get some get some play out of it before, uh, before rotation. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.